Get ready, get set, and hold on. It's going to be one hell of a ride. Good morning. Welcome to the Mouth of Matushak Show. And I am your host, Paul Gregory Matushak. For this Friday, 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 August 15th, 2014. And yes, I think I've said it enough already. It is Friday. What does that mean, folks? Last work day of the week, unless you've uh, taken the day off already. That means, you know, roll up those sleeves, buckle down, get uh, get in deep early in the day, dig in and get all those things done, all those tasks for the week done. And if uh, possible, get a start on some of next week's as well. Get yourself set up for a good weekend so you can enjoy the fruits of those labors. Everything you've worked so hard for during the week. Make sure that uh, you make your labors uh, worth uh, the effort. That pursuit of happiness is, uh, is so important. It's one of our key liberties, our key uh, founding principles. Of course, that means you have to work for it. Um, that's what that means. So you're not guaranteed happiness. You're guaranteed the opportunity to work and achieve and prosper. Um, you're not guaranteed prosperity. You're guaranteed the opportunity to work your butt off so that you might prosper if you, uh, you work hard enough. So let's get out there and work hard enough today so that we can enjoy the weekend and enjoy what we've uh, so uh, earned so well through our efforts and some of us already have plans for the weekend some of us are still formulating them but uh yeah this being friday and uh, our week started off kind of somber and kind of uh had some disturbing news early on in the week and it kind of continued on through a good portion of the week so we tried to kick the week off uh on a happy note and it just wasn't happening and then hump day itself we tried a little bit but it uh, still had some serious stuff in there, folks. But we live in serious times. Now, I'm sure there's always something serious to discuss regardless of the times. But right now, it seems that there's a lot going on that may not be the happiest. And this is not a comedy show. This is a news show. But we do try to uh, bring a little bit of lightheartedness here when we can because it's so important um, to balance our lives that way. And that's why we work hard during the week, so we can balance that out with some uh, good, clean, sensible enjoyment for the weekend. And what I mean by sensible is, I don't mean you shouldn't let your hair down and act a little bit dumb. I just mean don't do something and get yourself in serious trouble or hurt. You know, if you want to go bungee jumping, that's great. Um, But make sure you take the proper safety precautions so you can enjoy it instead of uh, ending up in the hospital or whatever endeavors you have set up for your time off so you can enjoy that time that you earned. But in the meantime, we've got all kinds of things going on across the country and down here in this uh, little speck of of dust that's uh, rather insignificant, so small. How can anybody even consider it a state in the union? Of course, I'm talking about this little speck called Texas. So there's all sorts of things going on. So uh, let's see what we can take a look at and see what's going on this week, folks. Shed some light on uh, things going on. And, uh, yeah, we still haven't gotten the uh, sound bite from Eleanor, uh, Eleanor Norton fixed. It was playing so well up until yesterday. Otherwise, about right now, I'd be playing that where she says that we don't have a right to know what our government is doing in a separation of powers government. God, what a lunatic, huh? I'm I'm really glad she's not. Well, I wish she was my representative because I would use that soundbite to run against her. And I could probably do it on a very cheap budget. But, uh, you know, I, I'm also thankful she's not my representative. Poor D.C., that's all I have to say, is they, they elected her and they're stuck with her. We, we've got our own uh, brand of loonies down here in the, uh, in the great state of Texas. If, and you don't have to look any further than uh, Houston, of course. Many people know about some of the, uh, some of the gaffes that seem to come out of, uh, on a daily basis. 
come out of the mouth of uh, of Representative Sheila Jackson Lee, of course. And I'm not going to sit here and go down a roll of them at this time. Um, I actually hadn't planned on it, but uh, maybe in the future I'll do a collection of her gaffes for the show. Give some people something to laugh about. But I do have some uh, news about things going on in Texas when I get into the uh, Second Amendment uh, portion of the show where I kind of talk about uh, Second Amendment issues and constitutional issues. But, of course, this is uh, a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Friday getting set for a weekend. So we kind of got to pump ourselves up a little bit and uh, see where things go from there. Mr. America! What? Hey, that was that, that came out a little bit early, didn't it? Well, may as well get to it now. Um, I've had a couple of listeners uh, request um, that I play some music on the show where I can. Um, we're kind of a shoestring budget here, so we don't have much to worry about or to uh, take care of royalties and stuff like that. But I do want to give a... I, I was requested this particular song. It is a favorite of... Uh, one of my uh, occasional listeners. She's rather young, so sometimes the topics discussed are a little bit uh, beyond her age range, but she adores this song. So I want to give a quick shout out, um, not to uh, that individual, but uh, I do want to uh, kind of cue this song up a little bit. This uh, the song is a couple years old now, and it was done by comedian Steven Crowder, and uh, my friend Chris Lash, uh, husband of Dana Lash, who um, got together at one of the uh, the various um, conservative conventions. I th- in fact, I think it may have even been the uh, uh, the the big one, the national convention. And uh, they got together and did up this video. And uh, if you could see the video, it's great. Got some great visuals in there, and it's wonderful. But the song itself, um, which is what I have here, is just the uh, the actual song, is uh, well worth your time to listen to. So this is Mr. America by Powdered Zombies. America, look what you've done. Yeah, looking at the country is not what I intended. Gotta start to make a change before can never end. The story of a failed nation run straight out of luck. Like a million Tyler Perry movies. Ah, you suck. All you little have life, you're still selfish and warm. More voting in your self interest now instead of the core principles that made this country both honest and true. Free to speak, worship, pursue of your happiness. With all the money you fly, you gon' be needing a big freeze Hate the size of the Fed, like Jesus hated the fig tree As the spending goes up, you gotta borrow some more Borrow went from the Chinese, like, oh my lord Instead you just tax more, you're increasing the size Of the federal government, yeah, to Joe just surprise You'll be done like Detroit, man, no, you ain't coming back Forget it, I'm out, I'm all alone Mr. America, look what you done Say bye. 
Bro Joe. Both parties have gone green like the name was Al Go. Yeah, but right now you're hot. Hey, ain't you big hitter? But now I'm back from the dead. I'm bringing back all my niggas. Man, you think I say that? What's wrong with you? I'm just talking about my show. Back then I walk with my shoe. But well, let's go back to the first point I was trying to make. The degradation of our freedoms and our country at stake. The government's getting grand while private sector grows smaller. Pull one out for your homies. Cause here comes the cold water. On the plumbing still rising. A death row and still. The only change you're gonna get is being left with the bill. America, look what you done. Yeah, how about that? Does that get you going for this Friday? Uh, good song, good song. Yes, a uh, little bit of music added to a talk radio show. Gotta love it, folks. Yep, and again, uh, that was Mr. America, done by Powdered Zombies, otherwise known as uh, the comedian uh, Stephen Crowder and uh, music producer Chris Lash um, got together with, with a couple other folks, um, including, uh, if you watch the video, uh, Dana Lash is on there. Um, quite interesting to see the husband and wife team together in a video. Kind of awesome. But uh, let's segue a little bit to something that's going on with some of the uh, so-called uh, conservative celebrities, if you want to call them celebrities, some of the more well-known, more well-outspoken uh, people down the right side of the aisle. And uh, we'll do this while we talk a little bit about the R word. Racism. <sighs> Racism is bad, folks, but I'm really tired of hearing the uh, the, the wolf cry um, of racism. Seeing racism where there isn't any. And claiming things are racist when they have nothing to do with race other than the human race being a human being. And uh, just before the show, folks, I, I, uh, I have to admit, I did a bad thing. Or maybe not so bad thing. There's a lovely young lady, um, and I still consider her young. She's, she actually looks a lot younger than she is, which is remarkable for, uh, for anybody takes good care of herself but I've met her a couple of times and I've seen her speak live a couple of times as well as of course through various media outlets and I'm speaking of the, uh, the ever lovely and dynamic Deneen Borelli great person if you ever get an opportunity to see her um, give a speech live please do and as I said I've, I've met her in person a couple of times and uh, we follow each other on Twitter which of course you know she has oodles of followers, the fact that she follows me back is a little bit, um, what's the word for it? I take it as a deep compliment. But, uh, of course, um, because of the pigment of her skin and the uh, ethnic heritage, the ancestral heritage um, of her and her family, she comes as a target to a lot of people on the left. Because Deneen is has a darker pigment. She's a black conservative, American. Or American conservative, whichever way you want to put those terms. And she comes under a lot of fire, racist fire. And a lot of times it's from people of a similar pigment, which is really disturbing. So once in a while when I see that, sometimes I'll, I'll jump in and say something complimentary to her or or kind of uh, something to indicate the ignorance of the person making the allegations. And, of course, it happened again this morning. 
somebody actually told uh, Deneen Borelli she's not a real black person because she's conservative. <gasps> How dare they? I have a really good question for that person. Was, uh, was Frederick Douglass a real black person? Because he was conservative too. Anyway, and, and there's that's just one example of thousands and thousands and thousands, probably millions dating back to uh, just even before the Civil War of uh, conservative-minded uh, people of a certain skin pigmentation. And folks, I, I've served in the Army for 24 years. Y- you know, here's something I want to say real quick. I will admit I, uh, I do have a little bit of basis or bias based on skin color. I do. I'm not talking about your natural born skin. I'm talking about the skin that our military puts on, the camouflage. I do have a tendency to, uh, to actually show a little bit more favor to people who don the camouflage skin. But that just comes from the nature of, of having to serve or having served um, with, uh, with those great people, those great men and women, and having them on my left and right and in front of me and behind me and uh, them saving my butt numerous times. And they're my brothers and sisters. And when you talk about the, the Marines, they're my first cousins. And when you talk about the Air Force, well, they're the black sheep cousins. Just kidding, just kidding. Uh, no, we, we're all one big happy family. That's why we can tease each other. So I do admit that I have that bias you know I prefer people of uh, of green and well I guess blue as well when you add in the Navy and Air Force but you know that kind of skin color so to speak and that skin color of course is in air quotes folks but you can't see my air quote and my air quotes because this is radio so there's my kind of uh, bias for pigmentation I prefer military camouflage but uh yeah, that was tongue in cheek a little bit, folks. You can go ahead and laugh if you're not already. So, but anyway, uh, Deneen was uh, accused of this, so of course I I jumped in and made uh, some comments about that individual's uh, lack of vision, so to speak, their lack of real analytical thought, and it's now spinning off on Twitter. So if you guys pop up on Twitter and take a look at at that. Um, I've since had to block the person due to their ignorance and use of uh, obscenities. So uh, other people are still going on. So if you feel so inclined, if not, go ahead and avoid it. But I do find it extremely humorous that uh, because of a difference in political ideology, somebody can claim that somebody else is not a real member of their particular ethnic heritage. Oh, come on. Anyway, uh, of course, speaking about the uh, the issue of race, evidently there were further protests yesterday and last night in Ferguson, Missouri. They've been going on for days and days now over the uh, the, the tragic shooting of the uh, teenage boy that uh, may or may not have started a physical altercation that led to a police officer shooting him, whether it was out of self-defense or other reasons. It's still under investigation. We don't know, folks. We don't have enough facts, and that's the truth. But uh, it is under investigation. But because there were actual peaceful demonstrations last night, the Ferguson Police Department is considering, considering releasing the name of the police officer involved, which they have not yet because... Of numerous death threats already made and people want to know of course that leads us to uh, to our favorite um, group of uh, I'm really trying to say this nice um, they call themselves hacktivists that's with an H and uh, I, I really sometimes <clears throat> they actually do some